We're at Chandler High School and we're doing an underwater competition called National Underwater Robotics Competition. The mission this year is Ebola Outbreak. It's basically a scenario where Ebola is broken out and a military transport plane was delivering the serum when the plane crashes in the ocean and they're asking a ROV research uh, organization to go and retrieve the vials of serum from the bottom of the ocean to save the world so the outbreak doesn't wipe out humanity. The mission is difficult because, well, first of all, you're throwing electronics into the water. So you have to have everything watertight. That's, that's the number one thing. People think it's easy because they usually most of the teams have done land-based robots. So when they switch to underwater, it's a whole different world. They actually see the math and the science doing something rather than just reading about it in a textbook because in their robot they live or die by what they've calculated. Well, I learned about how things move, how they operate, and a lot of stuff about having to make sure everything's waterproof. It's really a learning experience. There's also a social learning that's going on. The more social engagement to do, the more you learn, and the more you can solve problems as a team rather than yourself. From this experience, I've learned so many things. I've learned electrical, I've learned just how to build a robot, how to interact with other people, how to work with the team, and how to lead a team because I am actually the captain of our robotics team. You learn so many things while doing this that it's priceless.